training my navigator powers and he mentions something along the lines that I should uh, ask you yeah, like maybe not help but in case I want to get contact in contact with them or go to their and then I shrug base domain <laughs> something like that ask me hmm. well I don't see any reason why I would tell you not to. Umberhawk has been very helpful to us. In fact, they helped me discover my navigator powers, so yes, you should absolutely go and see what they have to say about it. Cool, and I offer a smile. It would be nice to have a place and chance to train it. Mm. Yes. Good to see that you're looking to uh, expand your capabilities. And I offer big to the smile. That's why I am. Try things. Have fun. Even now was interesting. But when I say that, like you can hear in my voice and see on my face that I'm still smiling, but this is like a forced smile almost. And I'm not sounding too joyous. So right. I, and then I like I try to continue the like, And yeah, you are leader of March, so I, it is a good guess that you have contact with all the other groups for peace, justice, and justice. Mm. Well, you might assume that, but it's a fairly new group. I think the only ones I'm on good, or at least neutral terms with, is Umberhawk at the moment. But anyways, Absolutely. yes, they seem like quite nice people. At least they're good at their jobs. So, I don't know, you already have much on the plate, so if I want to like meet them, do you want me to uh, kind of ask you to be a guide for me, or do you have uh, information that I can use to get to them? Mm. Right, well... Their main domain is accessible through Jeffrey. If you want me to accompany you, then I don't see why I wouldn't, but you can feel free to do that however you wish, of course. It is a personal matter of yours, right? Certainly it would help out March if your abilities improve, but it's something you take on to yourself. And then I not a smile. Yep. I mean, I don't have anything against you nor anybody coming with me, it's just I don't want to, uh, I know how busy people can be. Mm. Right, right. Well, mm. thank you for telling me then. It's no problem. Hello, I'm Hello. Hey there. That was All basically right. the only thing I wanted to ask. Rio about Umbra Hog. <laughs> okay. That was, that was, good. That was cool then. Yeah. Then I guess we get to Academy and we can get back to <laughs> Akira <laughs> being <laughs> unguarded <laughs> and finishing her story. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Seriously, mm -hmm. Buff. Oh yes, this is the last bit. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay. She just kind of sighs, trying to collect herself, because she's obviously is ve has been very worried about this whole fucking thing. <laughs> this last part may seem worse than it might be. Okay. Uh, Kyle says, a bit confused. Uh, so since he's been operating as a human in the city... <sighs> well... There's no faster way to get the main part of this out than just saying it. So he's kind of dating Naomi as a demon person. All right. Under the idea of a mythopoetic. All right, out of character. Time to roll Kahara's understanding. Yeah. Kaharu does have a shocked expression. Honestly, she looks like she wants to shout something, but she holds her tongue. 
Okay, so on the plus side, from what I've gathered, it's not like a vampire eating someone thing. If anything, the times I've asked her, she seems to be not being targeted by the training and everything he's doing. Uh, she doesn't know. She thinks he's a mythopoetic. What? But in the plus side, it seems like she's not in danger. Yeah, this is the bad part also. This is the last part, though, at least. Uh, um. <laughs> the problem with this is, is it, it was only really until a day or so ago that I was certain about this. And we have to not... Oh. We have to be very careful about how we continue forward. Okay. I'm really sorry about this whole mess. Kaharu does look like she wants to say something more. However, she uh, just takes a few deep breaths, calming herself. You can lay it on me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, I can see how this would be troubling for you as well. That's the most nice thing you could say to me. <laughs> you could be a bit more blunt about this. Honestly, I'm trying very hard not to be blunt, especially in a church. We can step outside. <laughs> Service is over. <laughs> Honestly, I only went here to get strength to tell you. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ, we're having a conversation! Is. Uh, <laughs> that one hurt my throat. Oh, I'm sorry. It feels bad, man. Hope you feel better. Some well, you're in a public place, okay? Yeah, I do. <sighs> Kaharu, uh, let's it rummage around in her head a bit before saying Naomi's together with Kudlek. She thinks he's a, just some guy who works in the industrial district named Clement. He looks like a human, but it's him. Yeah. Car for her part, uh, sit, sitting down in the back pews, well, since ch since service is over, she'll f find a seat and sit down anyway after hearing this bombshell. Yeah. Uh... And she glances at Kieran and asks, is Naomi doing all right? Oh, yeah, she's actually doing worryingly well. I mean, if you just mean in general, yeah, she's been happy recently. And all the times I've kind of poked and prodded, nothing bad seems to be going on between the two of them. Honestly, she seems happy, but... That's kind of the hard part, is, well, it won't last. We can't exactly just let him keep doing this stuff. Karu, let's, Karu, let's out a... Sigh, a bitter sigh, as she says. And here I thought I'd stop hurting my sister. You can't 
blame yourself for all the stuff that's happened between the two of you, man. <laughs> and you really can't blame yourself for her choice in men. <laughs> Kaharis says, and if we stop Kunlek, I'd essentially be stomping on Naomi's happiness, even if it does, uh, stomping on Naomi's happiness. <laughs> I don't know. At this point, it's just something bad might happen. And it might not last. He may be manipulating her. Bad stuff may be happening. He's harming people. We can't just make that okay because they seem to be doing fine. Look, I want her to be happy too, but this can't be happening. Uh, Karu then asks, does everyone else in March know? Every little detail? It's kind of spread thin. The overarching thing? Yeah. We didn't want to tell you until we knew for certain. We weren't exactly trying to keep you hidden. It's just, we were just had a bunch of theories going around. Karu slowly nods, she adds, well, considering what, uh, con considering how worried I was when uh, Naomi suddenly disappeared that one weekend, I understand. Like I said, the reason Kaharu's so calm is because of that eight understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be so understanding. It's... Not exactly a more human response we had. We could make excuses for it all day, but it's still not good to keep you out of things. So, now I need to decide what are we going to do about this afternoon? Honestly? What we've decided, well, he's aware of us to a degree, but we can't exactly go telling her about it until we plan to do something. Because, as is, well, I, we don't know what her reaction would be. Kaharu, for, for once, Kaharu looks like she's lo lost a bit of energy as she, hunt as she hunches, hunches over in the pews. Even, even she knows that this is not going to end well one way or another. Yeah. Kira tries to put a hand on her shoulder to try to comfort her the best she can. Just, it's not a good situation, but... I think if we navigate it through it, we'll get out without anyone being hurt. We'll figure out how to make everyone still together by the end of it. You could just let me take the brunt of it. Kairu... After a moment, shakes her head. I'm Naomi's sister. It's about time I start acting like it. <laughs> You've kind of been acting like it for a while. <laughs> Don't say you haven't been. Look, I've... Oh, motorcycles. Uh, someone's leaving church. <laughs> Listen, you... 
do have had a rough time, but at the end of the day, you've been there for her. Don't say you haven't. Even if she's a bit prickly, I still think she... It's just... I still think she cares about you and everything. Sibling stuff's hard. Especially when tough shit happens. Caro, for her part, actually, out of character, I don't think Caro has ever mentioned her Shin dream. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think any of us have mentioned our dreams. Yeah. Kaharu, for, for a moment, says... Well, uh, I'd like to talk some more, maybe a bit in private, as she looks around the church. Right. Right. She'll stand up. And she's trusting Akira to decide where they're where they can talk in private. Oh boy, uh, we could head to a Jeffrey if we want to be certain. Uh, She'll lead her over. All right. Oh, sorry, boss. I went by. Hey, so they head inside Jeffrey, get a room. All right. Honestly, I'm surprised Jeffrey doesn't charge. I mean, if you're just going to talk inside of him. Yeah. All right. Maybe. All right. So we get a private room in Jeffrey. Right. Yeah. Right. Here's Ka- it. Karu takes a, takes a seat since I assume there'd be at least a chair and a table there. Yeah. As she as she comments, uh, do you do you remember? Well, I doubt you'd ever. I doubt. Any of us would forget uh, how Shin was having one-on-one uh, seances with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Karu comments. Mine was actually related to, related to my hometown and. My t- and my time with Naomi. Oh, that would make sense, I suppose. Kaharu for Kaharu said. Uh, Kaharu takes a deep breath as she comments. It actually didn't turn out. It actually starting out. It wasn't so bad. Uh, <laughs> Mo was actually there too. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I guess our demons kind of go in there with us. Right. Uh. Well. And and Karu begins by saying. It started off simple enough. I saw my mother, and uh, she she asked me to show Mo around the neighborhood. <laughs> like a new kid. Yes. Uh, funny. Actually, Mo got into quite a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, you 
I think so. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it takes me a second and I realize that she's just kind of running around. <laughs> well, she's but, a big fan of you, at least. <laughs> but in any case, uh, Naomi, Naomi was actually there, too, but because I was so focused on helping others and uh, deal and cleaning up the messes Mo made, I didn't notice her until later on. Oh. Well. Shit. And it really wasn't until that point that I realized I was kind of a giant shadow over Naomi. I never meant to be one. Sometimes we have the best intentions and end up hurting people more than we really expect. It's not something you can exactly blame yourself for. Well, actually, you can really easily, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Thus, I've sort of been trying to occasionally help from the sidelines while giving Naomi space so that I'm not constantly overshadowing her. And Caro then talks about how she helped out during the cost during the uh, costume contest. Oh, not, not the, uh, the fashion show. Right, right. Hmm. <sighs> Makes sense. Or and, and also how the reason she she didn't invite Naomi to the Mall Friday was because she and Naomi had a chat chat about it, and Naomi said she personally didn't want to uh, get involved in the whole uh, light path versus dark path thing. Right, right, right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, and now, with Kudlek, if we do nothing, people will get hurt. If we do something, Naomi will get hurt. The only way I can think about this is that <laughs> we can't help everyone. We don't know who they are. We only know that people are getting hurt. But we know Naomi. We can help her. At least... No, no, we can. Definitely. Caro isn't laughing, just to make it clear. Oh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> no, she is laughing. Where's the picture? <laughs> there we go.
Uh, is he Kira meant to say something or is Kari meant to say something? I'm confused. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, sorry, my skip was like, no, I mean, Kira said something last. No, uh, I only, I did, if Kira said something last, I didn't hear it. Oh, yeah, you were laughing. <laughs> yeah. No, Kira was saying uh, that we can't help everyone in the city. We don't even know them. They're not even mythopoetics, generally. But we do know Naomi. We can help her. I want to help her. Cairo thinks long and thinks long and hard and comments. This should uh, this is for the best for Naomi. Yeah. Though it does kind of sound like she's trying to convince herself that. <laughs> Look. At one point, you have to make a decision. Things like this in life. It doesn't always sound great. But I've got to trust that we can be all okay by the end of this. Really, even if it would be hard, as she is now, I don't think she'd want people to be getting hurt like this. She wouldn't want this. Kyle nods and stand, stands up. We should probably... Ask Jeffrey about Hama related items. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, cool. All right. Burp, 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 burp. Burp, burp. We need positivity charms, Jeffrey. Right. What do you mean by that? I don't know. What would we look for? Here's that uh, sphere that works on darkies. Or items with a high amount of Hama. Yeah, positive energy charms. We need things that make people feel nice. You don't want to smote people? No. I mean, the high energy of Hama. There is that hope. 20 XP. What cast am I to think? No, these are used. Uh, what did you say a couple times? Sure, oh, sure Kahara does have her sword, but she prefer, does have her sword, but uh, she prefer a little more of assur assurance than that. Can the fucking Jeffrey custom asset have an element attached to it? Like, could we make a bunch it's of... It's custom! Of course it can have an element attached to it. So, we could technically, when we go after Kudlak, we could, like, grab fucking charms or something that are infused with fucking Hama to fucking, like, just give fucking energy pulse. So, like, we can have those with us with the positive energy to fuck with Kudlak. Yeah? Mm. Just a I would say is that uh, 
you can buy the asset, but you'll need to fill in with a positive energy from somewhere. Positive emotion from somewhere. I find it's a second be custom. <laughs> well, yeah, but then it'll be more interesting if you find something positive about yourself to put in it. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. We're going to beat him to death with positive energy. I like that. And it'll be more synergistic if you use it with your own emotions. Alright. Akira will pay the 20 for that asset. And, uh... So just for Akira? Game no, I'm game one. Well, is the asset for one person only, or can you share it? One I person. Figure... What the fuck, really? Uh. Well, I put, like, a huge thing in the page about it, and then you guys are going to be like, we just want to do it about it, so I'm like, hmm. What? Mm. I don't know what you just said. What do you mean you put a stick on the page? On the super secret page. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I will, I mean... Well, forgive us for not knowing about that. Yeah! Alright. I guess Akira will buy one for her and Koharu, at least. But... Not made of money. Alright, uh, how That's much nice. is it? Akira's buying it for her. It's oh. 20 XP. Yeah. Uh, for everyone else, we'll discuss that getting a minus 40. Let's go. Hey, so, an encounter I won't be a part of. Yeah, you're not allowed to come along. Exactly. <laughs>